this article titled what is real beauty came out on thursday 25th october 2018 there are thousands of inspirational quotes and bewitching writings on beauty the one that i find most fascinating is by the ancient chinese philosopher confucius who said everything has beauty but not everyone sees it there is certainly beauty all around us and in us our human brains have evolved around an innate taste for beauty there are general feelings of peace at the joy in looks and thoughts on beauty beauty feeds pleasantness to our eyes and minds when it comes to human beauty the cosmetic industries have fueled a stronger emphasis on external appearance soaring sales of makeup perfumes deodorants plus oral hair and skin care products are estimated to be worth about 85 billion US dollars by 2024 according to the british association of aesthetic plastic surgeons there were 50122 cosmetic surgeries in 2013 a rise of 17% compared to the previous year the procedures include implant operations brow face neck and nose lifts tummy tucks liposuction ear correction fat transfer with increasingly numerous additions to the list including gender reassignment according to global data a leading data and analytic company the annual spend per head in the uk on health and beauty is forecasted to increase from 73 pounds to 487 pound per head by 2020 with a market value of 26.7 billion pounds it is important that we take care of our external appearance and some people will undoubtedly be more beautiful or handsome than others but putting physical and mental health at risk just for the sake of such external beauty needs thoughtful scrutiny it is dangerous to push well-being to such an end just for the sake of the body appearance ideal there is an epidemic of beauty sickness among many youngsters and sadly social media aggravates this sickness in those people with a heightened emotional imbalance as socrates rightly put it beauty is a short-lived tyranny there is definite peer pressure to keep up with the world and all the rest the time energy and resources spent on external appearance shifts the focus from more important goals in life as shakespeare said beauty is bought by judgment of the eye there needs to be institutionalized education about the healthy limits of changing external appearance and a greater focus on realism and awareness of real beauty It is worth digging into some of our traditional understanding about inner beauty which was largely associated with inner grace the good the truth and the sublime your beauty should be that of your inner self the unfading beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is of great worth in God's sight 1 Peter 3rd chapter and 4th verse